What's up guys, today I'm gonna to teach you how to fix a common issue on a 2018 Ford F-150. If you got a Ford, you're eventually gonna have this problem because this sucks. Come on. All right, so if you got a Ford, you're eventually gonna have this problem if you don't already. You see that? Super fast blinky. This side's not, it's normal. That side's super fast. And the reason for that is we have a issue. One of the bulbs is blown, right? Well, I'm gonna show you what causes that. All right, so the issue is this bulb is out. Why is that bulb out? As you can see, we've had a blinker fluid leak. That's right. The blinker fluid has drained down in here. It's leaking and it's caused the bulb to shoot. You can see where all the blinker fluid has sprayed out. It's a common issue. Ford knows about it. It's just one of them things. Ford don't want to warrant it. So I'm gonna show you how to fix it today. All right, so now I showed you the problem. We know there's blinker fluid spraying everywhere in here, probably a bad connection or something. So um, you should always keep a drill with a Matco hyper step in the bed of your truck. If you don't, um, you're not a proper Ford owner and that's probably a sin. I think it's probably in the bylaws of the constitution. If you own a Ford truck, you need a, a drill and a hyper step bit in it just for blinker fluid leaks. But it's real simple. You stick it right there. There you go. Drain all your blinker fluid out. Make sure it all comes out. And uh, put your drill, which is standard equipment, back in your forward truck. So you, you, you just wanna make sure it all, all comes out. You see I can it on it to, uh, make the blinker fluid run to the bottom. It's very important. Um, that's how you do it. Actually, I'm just kidding. Uh, once again, if you own a, a Ford, you should have a Matco ratchet in the bed of it. That's very, very important. And um, make sure you got an eight millimeter socket on there. But this is a common issue with Ford. And it's a damn shame that a truck this new, uh, they wouldn't warranty the tail light. So you take your two screws out of your tail light. Get them out of there. And, uh, it don't really matter if you break it or not because it's junk anyway from the factory. That's how they come in junk like that. But, uh, as you can see, the blinker fluid is still dripping out of it. It's just a factory forward thing and we wanna unplug it right here. And then you take this. This is a very important part. Walk with me, cause this is what has to be done if you have one of these tail lights. Throw it out there because that's where it goes because forward builds garbage tail lights. And then you wanna to go to the Ford place and get you a Mopar, only Mopar, Ford parts only. There's the part number. You spend $125 or better on another tail light that shouldn't have leaked to start with because, I mean, let's face it, it was a brand new truck, right? And then you plug it in. See, my cat's even pissed about this. You line your tabs back up. Push it in. And you put your screws back in it. Make 
sure as shit don't want to crack it because it leaks on its own from the factory. So make sure you only put like a tenth of a quarter of an inch pound on these screws because they use the cheapest plastic on earth when they build these because they want it to leak. And that way it shoots your bulbs all the time. And that way when you're drinking beer, the police will pull you over because you don't use a turn signal. It's not your turn signal, you didn't use it. Yeah, you used it, it just don't work because your blinker fluid leaked out. Like I say, one tenth of one quarter of an inch pound is all it takes. So be very careful. And then you get all this crap out of your truck and you install the Melco ratchet back in and then let's test it and see if it works. So if you have a new model, new body style, um, this is a 2018 Ford and your blinker fluid is squirted out in your tail light, you can thank Ford for building such high quality products out of the cheapest made plastic on earth. And uh, that's how you fix it. So there you go, guys. Yes, as you can tell, I'm frustrated because this thing was leaking when it was under warranty and I did let our forward place here know, but they was too busy going out of business and didn't want to tell anybody and they screwed me. Luckily, I had a buddy of mine help me out at a cheaper price on the tail light. But it still sucks, because forward should fix their shit. That's my video. Thanks for watching, guys. Like always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's free. Y'all have a great night. See ya.